एवरी वन वेलकम बैक वंस अगेन टू माई यूट्यूब क्लास आई एम मनजीत रावत यूर ऑनलाइन इंस्ट्रक्टर एज वी नो दैट गाइज रिसेंटली वी एडेड वन प्ले लिस्ट बेस्ड ऑन एज योर एडमिनिस्ट्रेटर ए जी वन जीरो फोर एंड आई हैव ऑलरेडी क्रिएटेड मल्टीपल वीडियोज रिगार्डिंग एज योर एडमिनिस्ट्रेटर सो नाउ दिस टाइम वी नीड टू मूव आर सेल्फ टू नेक्स्ट टॉपिक एंड आर नेक्स्ट टॉपिक आर नेक्स्ट मेड्यूल इज रिलेटेड टू द स्टोरेज so in case of storage you should know about each and every options which is available in storage services like in previous class uh, uh, we have already discussed about what is the storage like san nas and uh, we have already discussed how to create a storage account as well so now i'm moving ourselves to next topic related to the storage services means we'll try to understand about storage kind about the storage container file share queues and tables these all are the options are available in single storage account as a administrator it's our responsibility we should know about the usage of these services which is available in storage account this is our agenda so let me move ourselves to the portal and discuss about the procedure how to configure is shared storage but before that if you new on my youtube channel if you watching my video first time do subscribe teach me cloud youtube channel because a single technical training based youtube channel that give you 100% live practical based video without skip any step so let me move ourselves to as your portal but before that i am just going to show you the content that we need to cover in today's class so we are using a core content of microsoft azure administrator like az104 we have already discussed about the storage services like active directory services policies identity active directory user and groups how to assign the policies are uh, to our resource group and subscription let's move ourselves to next step which is core related to implement and manage azure storage so i'm moving ourselves to the azure portal and show you the proper practical so let's move ourselves to pro portal and discuss more about the azure storage services now we are on page of our azure storage uh, sorry our desktop screen and this is the topic that we need to cover in today's class like as implement and manage storage in azure so in previous session we have already discussed about the introduction right implement we created our one storage account over azure portal and let me explain you about the services which is available and about the storage kind as well so over azure portal we just need to open our portal and log in your account which is mandatory to sign up yourself with at least one subscription you will get a code on your register mobile number because i have already configured uh, what we can say that i have already configured one multi factor authentication now we are on page of our azure portal let me show you the storage account that we created in last session go to the storage select storage account this is our class storage 12388 i'm going to show you the options which is available in storage account so we have a uh, multiple options those options are those services can help us to upload our personal data like containers we have a file share queues and tables 
four different options are available in our single storage account. So I'm going to start from the very basic. Let's try to understand about the concept of container first. In previous class, we have already discussed that uh, container is a type of uh, unstructured storage, right? Unstructured in th in the sense like as you are able to upload any kind of data. It may be PDF, document, or images, or any kind of videos file. If you want to upload, you need to proceed with unstructured storage. I'm going to describe about the usage of container, right? You can say that about the usage of Azure container. Let me compare our Azure container with uh, public cloud storage. Like we have a n number of public cloud storage are available. Like as uh, you know very well about Google Drive, right? We have an option to upload the data in Google Drive. Second option, OneDrive. Third step, you can upload your data in iCloud as well. So these all are the considered as a, you can say that public cloud. The capacity of Google Drive, 15 gig space. It's a free of cost. You can upload the data up to 15 gig. OneDrive can give us option uh, up to 5 gig space. iCloud can also give us a space up, up to 5 gig, right? Let's talk about Azure container. In case of Azure container, we have a multiple option, right? We have a multiple way to upload the data, but let me explain you about how much space you are able to upload. By default, the maximum capacity of our container, we are able to upload 16 TB of data, right? And uh, it works just like a public cloud, but it give us a uh, more security. It will provide us access tier that help us to manage bills. And third, it can help you to access from multiple machines at a time, low latency. Means if we talk about the speed, data transaction is speed in compare of our Google Drive, OneDrive or Azure container. So Azure container will give us a high speed in case of our normal. Another gap between both like as uh, the 15 gig is a free space means you can download and upload the data up to 15 gig. But if you want to enhance, if you want to increase the size or if you want to increase the capacity of your storage, like you are planning to store up to 100 gig of data. So for 100 gig of data, you have to pay amount of up to 75 rupees per month. Sorry, you have to pay the amount of 130 rupees per month, right? The actual cost for 100 gig data, it's a... 130 rupees per month right but in case of our azure container if we talk about blob or azure container it will charge you charge according to capacity of data right according to the capacity of data how much data you uploaded for example First month you uploaded up to 100 gig of data and second month you deleted 25 gig or 50 gig of data. So you must need to pay the remaining space, pay for this remaining space. But about Google Drive, if you purchase the subscription of 100 gig and your actual data capacity is just uh, 25 gig, although you have to pay the amount for entire 130 gig, 130 rupees for entire month. This is the actual gap between our Azure container to public cloud. Let me show you another option like as in our container. We just need to click container option. I'm going to create one container just like select your container name like I'm going to proceed with Telnet and make it public. I wanted to access it from anywhere in the world. So that's why I'm just going to proceed and create. The container created successfully. The container name is Telnet. Open it. No data available. Select upload option. And it will redirect you on page of uploading. Select upload. 
select any data from on premises so i'm just going to select one image from on premises we successfully uploaded one data from on premises let me show you one more step select your data it will provide you one browser because we make it public access copy the browser sorry copy the url not browser and paste into the browser it will redirect you on your shared data like this this is the image that we uploaded in our container so you can say that the container can work the blob can work just like as a, a public uh, storage like as google drive one drive and icloud by using our container we are able to perform a task to upload the data and access our data from anywhere in the world this is the actual usage of container i hope you all of you understand about the concept of container if you have any doubt or question please drop a comment definitely will guide you properly and give you the proper solution okay everyone so our next topic is how to manage file share in azure storage so this is our next topic till then stay tuned with teach me cloud take care guys and do subscribe teach me cloud youtube channel bye bye